Hi friends, welcome to the Rise Academy. My name is Sonila and today we are going to see in this video how can we create bullet graphs using Google Data Studio. So let's first see what is a bullet graph. A bullet graph is a variation of the bar chart developed by Stephen Few. Generally, it is used to display progress towards a certain goal. They compare one value represented by a horizontal bar to another value represented by a vertical line and relate those two qualitative ranges. So as you can see on this picture on the right hand side, we have two horizontal bars. One is called A and one is called B. Let's assume that A and B are two matrix that some organization wants to track over a period of time. The yellow vertical bars represent the goals that they want to reach for these particular matrix. And just like a bullet goes and hits the target in the same way, here the goal for the horizontal bar is to reach the vertical bar. And those two red, red vertical bars on uh, metric number B, they represent the intermediate targets that this particular metric had to hit. So by displaying our data this way, we can very easily show where we are at the current point. Have we reached our goal or are we behind it or we are ahead of it? Here in the metric A, we are yet to hit our target whereas for metric B we have already crossed our target. So this is a very simple easy to understand graph and yet it can communicate a lot of information very easily. So now let's see how can we create these kind of graphs on Google Data Studio. So these are two graphs that I created on Google Data Studio. Uh, Data Studio is a free application that one can use. You can create your account on that if you don't have a Gmail account already. If you have one, all you have to do is just log in and you are good to go. So these are two graphs. One of the matrix is called happiness quotient, which represents customer satisfaction. And the next metric is user retention. And uh, the first one has a target of 60%. And right now we are between 50 and 55%. The deep blue color represents the current status. And then in the second one, the green deep green color represents the current status, which is a little bit more than 20% and the target is 30% and the gradient colors in between, they represent the intermediate goals uh, that were set for these metrics. So now let's go to Google Data Studio and see how I created these two bullet graphs. Okay guys, so we are here on the home page of Google Data Studio. So first I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus sign here for the creating the blank report. So once I am into Google Data Studio, a blank page is here and I have to connect it to my data source. So my data source in this case is a Google Sheet. So I go ahead and select that and I select the correct name of the sheet that I want to connect to. So my sheet I have already created here with some random data in it. If your data is in a database, then you go ahead and connect to your proper kind of database. For me, it's Google Sheet. So I just go and I just go and connect to Google Sheet. I choose the correct worksheet and I click on connect. So once it is connected, I just make sure that my data types are all correct. So it looks like for current, my data type, I'm going to change this to percent because it is expressed in percentages and then I will do add to report. Okay, so now my data is successfully 
connected to Google Data Studio and I want to create a bullet chart so I'll do add a chart and I will click on bullet. So just by default Google Data Studio is creating something and then I need to make sure that this is according to, according to what I actually want. So let's take a look at what we want. So we want this happiness quotient uh, plot which has its uh, intermediate targets as 20%, 50% and final target as 60%. So I will go here and here I will enter range 1 as 0.2 this one as 0.5 and this one as 0.6 right so those are the three targets that I have and I'm just going to uncheck this because I don't want to uh, show it and then I will create here add a filter this is to make sure that I'm choosing the right metric from my sheet so I can go and give here the name of my matrix so the first one i want to create is called happiness quotient so that's what i'm going to give uh, I have to, i'll choose include metric equal to happiness quotient and i'll do save okay so when i do that it is automatically showing the value of current for me and I will just adjust it a little bit to make it look nicer okay so now I from the data tab I will go into style tab where I can you know choose all the colors fonts etc so for my bar color I'm going to use this deep blue and then for my background I'm going to choose uh, this particular color let's see if it is matches okay it's pretty close to it let's choose this one okay and then um, I'll go and I'll change my font color to all black okay so I think it looks pretty similar to what we set out to do so let's now go and add here a text box which says happiness quotient right and then I will adjust it I will bring it to where I want it to be I just want it to be aligned here and then I will increase the font size a little bit uh, make it bold and so yeah so I think that looks very similar to what is my first uh, graph here and then I want to create the exact same graph but for my second metric so I will just go ahead and copy paste this thing and move it down a little bit and I'm going to choose uh, my filter here so I'm going to create a new filter and this time when I choose my matrix, I will give equal to, I will give user retention because that is my second uh, matrix, isn't it? And then I will do save. And let me remove the first one. Okay. So, okay. And let's see what were our targets. So they were... 10%, 20%, and 30%. So I will update this to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3. Okay. But now see what is the problem. This is 30%, this is 60%, but the length of the two of them is same. So to make sure that they are actually representing the lengths proportion to the percentage, I will just go ahead and reduce it. And then I also want to make sure I'm doing a different color so that people don't get confused that it is the same metric. Uh, so let's see what colors we used. We used a green color here. So I'm going to choose a deep green color for the middle bar and a lighter green color for the background. And my fonts and everything look good so now i'm going to just replicate 
the heading here and I'm going to bring it down here. Make sure it is aligned correctly and then I will change the name of it and I will call it user retention. Okay. So now if I go and do view here, I have my two charts ready and they have their intermediate um, goals in the gradient form. I have my final goal. I have my current status in the middle dark horizontal bar and it looks pretty close to what I set out to do. And then if I want, I can uh, edit it and I can, you know, uh, give a name to my graph. And so now it looks all nice and I am happy with what I see here. So that's how you guys can go ahead and create a bullet graph uh, using Google Data Studio. All right, guys, this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching the Adirai's Academy. And if you like this video, Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We plan to bring you lots of such videos on data science in future. So stay tuned to our channel so don't, you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye-bye.